what's the importance of having a diverse workforce? Well, there's, there's multiple reasons to do it. First of all, it's important for patients to see doctors that reflect them. So I think it's really important that we have a diverse group of physicians. That is just in order to take care of people. That's one thing. But the second thing is, you do make better decisions when you have diverse points of view. I think to assemble a really good group of students and a great workforce, you need diversity in multiple domains. A lot of times people think, well, racial diversity or gender diversity, but there are many types of diversity in a scientific environment. For example, there's socioeconomic diversity. There's differences in age, differences in background. When you think of a diverse workforce within a health system setting, that workforce brings a unique set of ideas, a unique set of understanding of the needs of a particular group of individuals. You are able to really understand the biases, the needs that may influence the outcomes for our patients and families. Part of St. Luke's mission is to provide care, treatment, and services for all patients and families. We have a diversity and inclusion task force that really brings a unique set of individuals from across the division to brainstorm, to celebrate, to understand, so that those team members go back into the workforce and really serve as ambassadors around culture and ambassadors around change. I think people want to come and work for a health system that looks like them, that represents them, that understands their unique needs. And so a lot of us have tried to come up with ways to, to bring in diverse populations into our medical schools and our medical profession. These types of programs often are called pipeline programs, but in reality they're more like pathways because there are many ways to reach a career in science or medicine. Access to high quality educational opportunities often starts in the early grades. And that's where students develop interest and persistence in fields that eventually lead to science and biomedicine. Unfortunately, we know that all too often, the quality of education in general, and certainly science and math education, depends on the zip code in which a student lives. So programs that are centered in neighborhoods that have been underserved have tremendous impact. Baylor has a long history of creating opportunities for students to enter into careers in science and medicine. In 1972, Baylor College of Medicine realized we were not getting the kind of diversity we needed for a, a diverse workforce. And so we started the first health professions high school, the DeBakey High School. We now have 11 schools that we run. We were able to work with the Houston Independent School District to create two novel middle schools. One is the Baylor College of Medicine Academy at James D. Ryan Middle School, and the other is the Baylor College of Medicine Biotech Academy at Rusk. They're open enrollment. So any student has an opportunity to go to one of those middle schools become prepared in science and math, and then ready to go into any academically rigorous program. It's really been wildly successful. So 70% of the kids graduating from our uh, health profession schools go into a health profession. The goal is to help the Texas Medical Center itself fulfill workforce needs with a diverse population of professionals. And at the same time, the goal is to create a broader applicant pool with diverse individuals from across all Houston schools to come into science and medicine. We are committed to enhancing the educational experience of all learners who enter our health system. We have strong academic partnerships and relationships with the University of Houston, Baylor School of Nursing, Baylor College of Medicine, the University of St. Thomas, Prairie View A&M, Texas Women's University, um, the University of Texas. 
by partnering with those academic institutions, we will ensure that we have a workforce that is strong, a workforce that understands the unique needs of the patients and communities that we serve, and partners who are committed to improving the health outcomes within our communities. We have an additional partnership with the University of Houston with DeBakey High School that enables up to six graduates per year to enter into an eight-year program in which they complete four years at the University of Houston and have provisional acceptance and a seat already in our class of incoming medical students. We have been trying over the last 10 years to change the way we interview students to get into medical school. So it used to be very much, how do you test? Now we, ha we have something that's called a holistic review process. We often provide uh, scenarios to the applicants to sort of think through, and we have multiple uh, interviewers, so it's not just one person's opinion, and we've been able to diversify the applicant pool. For the first time, we have almost 28% of our incoming class underrepresented minorities in medicine. We've now had our first graduate from the middle school at Ryan come all the way through and enter into the University of Houston Baylor College of Medicine eight-year program. A graduate of our DeBakey High School is now on the faculty in a transplant position. We've got the entire life cycle, you know, from starting in school all the way through college, medical school, and then into, the, into our faculty. We aim to continue to increase the diversity of our incoming classes, as well as increase the diversity of our workforce. By actually focusing and trying to do it, we've seen a tangible difference in the class makeup of our incoming students. Anytime you honor and recognize the uniqueness of your workforce, it improves employee retention, it improves employee morale, it improves the commitment of that workforce to the mission of the organization. A diverse workforce is, is fundamental for us. It is a part of who we are, how we're built, how we approach problem solving, how we approach our day-to-day -day work. If we know the population of patients that we're taking care of, then we can better serve and better help influence outcomes. Thank you.